The reason that we're here at the American Embassy in Paris is we talk about innovation and jobs. Technology is changing the way in which people gain satisfaction and earn a living. And we're seeing changes in the uh, infrastructure of work that are, create new opportunities for new kinds of businesses to happen. But it's still a question, how does innovation create jobs? And that's what we have been exploring. Sometimes it doesn't. What we've learned is that people don't necessarily want to be compensated as much as they want to be satisfied with meaningful work. There is a whole lot of value in society that, that is not paid for. You know, so Wikipedia no, not, is one not thing. In, not in the, in the money sense exactly. of the word. Exactly, right. So, so Wikipedia is, nobody is paid for Wikipedia, nobody is paid for Linux, and these happen to have outcompeted other commercial products. There is very little economics to, to look at these things because economics looks at the traditional economy, right? I'm still very curious about the, uh, uh, the value of the volunteer economy in, in the United States. But we need a model where, where the satisfaction of meaningful work is what counts, like Vince says, but where we can afford to have it that way. And that means that they should either be a business model for it, mm -hmm. so that we can start getting paid in ways that we weren't paid before, and that's innovation we're talking about. Or it's an innovation in policy. Innovation makes things cheaper and better. We see a lot of that today. But we also need innovation that make us worth more. There's a lot more to creating and enabling job creation than simply innovation. There has to be an environment that lets that innovation flourish.